Tonight, the mil military base is facing allegations of mistreatment and neglect. Congresswoman Gwen Moore now urging the Department of Justice to investigate. Well, it comes during a new call for winter clothes to help the refugees as colder weather is on the way. CBS 58's Adam Reif is live at the Salvation Army to explain the efforts. Adam. Natalie Jessup, good evening. In a letter to the DOJ, Congresswoman Gwen Moore says her office has fielded complaints of insulting and condescending language and a lack of basic necessities. No word yet if the DOJ will investigate, but in the meantime, the people of the greater Milwaukee area are stepping up on the latter issue as donations are pouring in. We understood that many of those people who fled, fled without any kind of forewarning. Thousands of Afghan guests at Fort McCoy need shoes, clothing, and personal items. So the Islamic Society of Milwaukee put out the call. 24 pallets will drive away Saturday morning. They'll send another shipment as more donations come in. The most beautiful thing that I took from it was it's not just one segment of our, of our community helping. It's the entire Milwaukee community that's coming in and dropping off items that are in need. And at Fort McCoy, officials are asking specifically for winter clothes before the weather turns. As many of them fled with only the clothes on their back and very few belongings, there is an immediate need for winter clothing and shoes. But the call for help is coming as allegations of mistreatment and neglect are surfacing. Congresswoman Gwen Moore wrote to the Department of Justice, quote, it is important that staff at Fort McCoy and elsewhere working with these individuals are sensitive and understanding of what these families are experiencing and their trauma. A refugee living there, his face is blurred because he fears Taliban retaliation against his family still in Afghanistan, said meals and conditions are not good. We work with them, you know, in bad times. We help, you know, Americans in Afghanistan that when we come to use, you know, they will treat us, you know, better than what we are witnessing here. Manjit Ahmad says he and others want to be their backbone, helping beyond their temporary stay with things like banking, driver's licenses, and immigration paperwork. It's our intention to continue providing whatever support we can provide to the Afghan uh, Afghanistan uh, guests. So this Salvation Army location in Oak Creek on South Howell, this is the only location in the Milwaukee area that's accepting donations specifically for the Afghan refugees. They're asking for items like coats and jeans, hats and gloves, and of course they are taking monetary donations. Live in Oak Creek, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News.